Bradley Chapel and Wiregrass Ranch, two schools about eight miles apart. Bragging rights on the line. And Wesley Chapel hoping to make it back to the playoffs this year and winning tonight would make a statement early on in the season. Anthony Allred joins us. The Wesley Chapel Wildcats come into this game of the week matchup looking to win their first two games at home and on the road. But can they stop Wiregrass's high powered offense? I don't know. So to the highlights we go. Wildcat student body all jacked up and don't expect anything less than going home with the win. So senior running back Dexter Levert welcomes Wiregrass Ranch to Wildcat Stadium with a little more than a 10-yard scamper. But the drive would stall a couple of plays later and Wiregrass Ranch knocking on the door in the red zone when Queasy Little John muscles his way in to put the Bulls up 8-0. But if you know anything about Wesley Chapel head coach Anthony Egan, Yep, no, he's ready to get some get back. So the Wildcats quarterback, Isaiah Bowden, calls his own number with the keeper. He breaks left, reverses his field, and then there he goes, down the right side, outrunning his blockers and the defense to get the Wildcats inside the red zone. And then Bowden calls his own number again, and he drags the Bulls defensive line into the end zone, giving new meaning to putting his team on his back and carrying them to keep them in the game. And the future Wildcat cheerleaders showing the team some love. But then, Wiregrass Ramp says, anything you can do, we can do better. But Wildcats defensive end Matthew Severson says, shut the front door to get his first sack of the season. But the Bulls would go on to win it and stay undefeated at 2-0. Teaching you to never sleep on the game of the week, Anthony Allred. News Channel 8 Sports.